Again, um, this is Mr. Toshio Yanagihara. He's a lawyer in Japan. He's one of the very few lawyers, very few anything really in terms of politicians, um, doctors, anybody who is willing to challenge the government, challenge the overall atmosphere in Japan where there's so much pressure to just be quiet about radiation and not complain. He is defending, first he had a lawsuit where he defended 14 children for the simple right to not to be able to go to school where radiation levels are not high and to be able to go to school without having to worry about food contamination, etc. And initially, because we know that um, the government is so hard about it, we thought that, he, that it would be immediately rejected. But Mr. Yanagihara said that, in fact, it was better, it went as better than he thought because um, the judges took a long time. They ex uh, expressed like comprehension that it was a risk, but that in the result, they concluded that no, they can't take it really because they can't afford it to move all the children. Anyhow, so um, that's if, a bit of a- Can you stand in the middle? Okay. Stand, stand behind the table here and the official. No, no, in front of the table. Or in front of the table. In front of the table, yes. In the middle. In front. Sorry, in front. So this is Mr. Yanagihara. Right. This is Miss. Ms. Matsumoto, she is an actual evacuee from Fukushima. She's the only person in this room, I think, who represents an actual victim. To suspend her for other victims like herself, because most women are forced to be quiet about it, not complain. There's so many um, familial, familial issues, lots of divorces, because families are being broken up. Dad has to stay in Fukushima to continue to work to feed the family. The family, if they have kids, if the mom's pregnant, they should leave, etc. So anyhow, um, Ms. Matsumoto also has been living separately from her husband, who's left in Fukushima, but she evacuated with her daughter, um, initially who was 12, and I think recently her older daughter moved to, so she will be speaking for us in a few minutes. And this is Ms. Mokada, she's also from the organization that Mr. Yanagihara started, the um, save the children from radiation. Oh, that's the slogan.
経理をして、体力不良を起こして、今、神奈川に公式団を組ませていただいあの、あの、ノースイースタンドジャパン、I don't know 
how worried she was about her daughter drinking this milk to her friends or her daughter's parents, then they would treat her like she was crazy. They would accuse her of being really crazy, being unreasonable. So, 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 で、もう一つあの今年尿の検査をし,しましたで、えー、そこにあの私の娘と私が、えー、とセシウム137の,の値が出ていてそれが、えー、0.035 娘が 0.035 私が 0.036 ベクレルグラムキルールで、これっていうのは普通の一般の方だとゼロではないですけど 0.0 何